it's quite funny. Like we're just kind of having a bit of a laugh about the data, just looking it doesn't at the session again. No, it doesn't. The it data doesn't. says, like, if anything, this this place is one that's like really trying to play catch up. But then on the ground, totally different story. Your experience, personally, totally different story. Absolutely. Can we actually just jump straight into where is this, Steve? Where in Melbourne? And this is going to shock so many people. But we've got the disclaimer in place. But we're going to talk about Seaford, which is Seaford. north of Frankston. So Frankston's been the poster poster child for Melbourne, obviously. A slightly, you know, more expensive version. It's on its bay side. It's on the beach. And looking at the data here, it says it's done minus 0.9% this year. Okay, so it's gone backwards pretty much to 1%. Absolutely. So they're thinking, Steve, you've lost your mind. Why Why on earth would you choose this? Well, this, this isn't is, a high performer. In Seaford, there's, there's opportunity to glow. And that's definitely not what we're seeing. Like this area has grown a lot more than point, minus 0.9%. That's negative growth. So mm. the pockets that we've been focusing north of Seaford Road, particularly north of Austin Road, and we're looking at sort of on, say, sort of 550 square meters or 500, 550 square meters plus three bed, one bath, three bed, two bath. They were transacting around this time last year you know, maybe the high sixes, early sevens. Mm -hmm. And now we're looking at kind of mid to high eights, even early nines for some of these type of properties. And we've seen that exponential growth really in the last three to four months, in my opinion. 